As you may know, anime can be ridiculous at times. Whether it be gender or age ambiguity, things can tend to seem unrealistic. But what if I told you that not everything in anime is as far-fetched as it seems? Assuming you read the title by now, you know I will be talking about 10 anime superpowers that exist in real life. Oh, and if you haven't noticed by this point, I'm not a dealer, Yusuf, but instead someone who humbly refers to himself as their protagonist. And I guess you could call this a collab. Now with that out of the way, on to the list. Before you get too excited here, I'm not saying that you'll be able to learn how to obtain the Sharingan you've always wanted, but you might be able to pretend that you have one by being able to increase and decrease the size of your pupils at will. A 2014 study that was published through Psychological Science showed that research subjects were able to narrow and widen their pupils by simply thinking about observing dark and light shapes. Although the researchers were not able to fully understand this phenomenon, maybe this, coupled with repeated practice, could help you achieve the eyebrows you've always wanted. <laughs> Although mind reading is not a very popular power in anime, the people who might possess it and who do possess it are very memorable. But unlucky for you, being able to read someone's mind is not a simple task. In a 2013 Stanford study for example, subject minds were able to read by having the electrical patterns of their brains observed. In addition to the patients being closely monitored, all of the patients were people with drug resistant epileptic seizures, meaning that their brain activity was easier to notice. By the end of the monitoring, the researchers were able to know even very specific thoughts such as if a patient was thinking about numbers. If you want to be able to read someone's mind, the first thing you are going to have to do is convince them to let you research their brain activity. Even though invisibility was most popularized from Harry Potter, it does show up frequently in anime, and I wouldn't mind being able to be invisible, for research purposes of course. <laughs> so is there a way to become invisible? Yes and no. In late 2015, scientists were able to create an ultra-thin invisibility skin cloak. The 80 nanometer cloak basically renders an object invisible by manipulating the surrounding light. Prior to this cloak, there were no other cloaks that were thin enough to be worn. So this cloak has an advantage in that regard. But currently, the cloak can only be made so that it covers up small objects. So it might be a while before consumers get a hold of this. Alchemy in the way former alchemist portrays it might not be possible, but that doesn't mean it cannot happen through other means. In fact, it is common for elements to be broken apart to obtain other elements. The difficulty of transforming one element to another varies highly on the element you start and end with. But regardless of what you are trying to do, you are going to need a lot of time, money and a particle accelerator. Scientists have succeeded in turning elements such as bismuth to gold before, but to quote head researcher Glenn Seaborg on this experiment, it would cost more than one quadrillion dollars per ounce to produce gold by this experiment. So yes, alchemy is possible, but it might be more affordable to buy whatever you want instead of transforming it yourself. The outcome seems bleak. The main characters are at their weakest. But right before they are about to die, they suddenly get a large boost of strength and speed, allowing them to overcome all of the odds against them. Now this might seem like it is simply plot armor, and to be fair, most likely is, but this very scenario can happen in real life. To put it simply, adrenaline is a chemical that a human's adrenal glands release when a human is placed into a stressful or dangerous situation. Adrenaline allows the body to function at a much higher rate, by increasing the body's heart, respiration, and muscle contraction speeds, while also slowing down unnecessary processes such as digestion. What this means is that the human body is able to perform beyond its normal limits, allowing for what would seem to be superhuman feats. A 2010 study theorized that humans have the potential to run at speeds of up to 40 miles per hour, given that the muscles are contracting at their speed limits, which if you are wondering, would be about 12 miles faster than Usain Bolt's top speed. So yeah, that's fast. One key attribute of being an anime hero is being able to take a beating and quickly recover from it. 
Although instantaneous regeneration is not possible, it might soon be possible to have accelerated regeneration. The Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, or DARPA, has been working on creating microscopic robots that can assess a person's physical condition and have the body respond accordingly. This would make not only cuts and bruises heal quicker, and also prevent or quickly address illnesses before they became too much for the body to handle, this project is still ongoing so we will just have to wait on its progress. So with Boku no Hero Academia's first season recently finishing, there were a lot of superpowers that interested me. But one specific ability that caught my attention was Shoto Todoroki's, who was able to create fire and ice and thereby change his body temperature at will. This very ability is actually possible within humans, but obviously to a much lesser extent and without the added bonus of being able to create fire and ice. Wim Hof is the most famous person who was able to do this. He currently holds 20 Guinness World Records related to his ability to withstand extreme conditions. Whether it be climbing Mount Everest wearing only shorts and shoes, or running a marathon in 122 degrees Fahrenheit, the technique he uses is a combination of meditation and yoga, and he has his very own lesson course to teach others how to do what he does. So if you're tired of having to wear jackets, and would much rather walk around in boxer shorts, then this is right up your alley. Being able to be immortal from senescence, which is the process of deterioration with age, seems impossible, but in fact there are already two creatures who are immortal in this way in the real world. The first being the jellyfish, which instead of dying when it reaches an old age, it regresses back to its birth and then continues aging only to repeat this process again. And secondly, there's the lobster, which simply does not stop growing and because of this can be killed to the weight of its own shell. To keep this as simple as possible, Humans have strands known as telomeres at the end of their chromosomes. These telomeres are basically what allows their body's cells to divide. Over time, these telomeres shorten to the point until they disappear. And when that happens, your cells are no longer able to divide and therefore you die. So in theory, if you are able to figure out what causes these telomeres to shorten and prevent that, then you will no longer be able to die from old age. Although the downside of doing this would most likely make your cells continuously divide leading to cancer, so for the time being, being immortal doesn't seem as awesome as anime makes it out to be. After watching Parasite, I'm pretty sure nobody was thinking, man, it would be awesome to have a parasite control and infect my brain, but if you did, then if you are an ant, I have some good news for you. All you need to do is encounter what is known as zombie ant fungi, which as its name suggests, turns an ant into a zombie that is under the control of the parasite. Sadly, the ant doesn't develop multiple razor sharp appendages, such as in Parasite, but it can infect and kill other ants in its colony. Luckily, this parasite isn't a threat to humans or really that many other animals that aren't ants, so if you were worried about being brainwashed in your sleep, then don't be. This last example is less of a superpowered insect that is real, but ones that were real. Terraformers seem to propose that creating a planet with high oxygen levels by covering it with moss could lead to a giant intelligent cockroaches. Although I have found nothing to lead me to believe insects will become more intelligent when living inside a highly oxygenated area, there is reason to believe that they would increase drastically in size. Insects breathe through tubes known as tracheas. The theory is that the size of an insect is restricted by the amount of oxygen that can be sucked through its trachea, so the higher oxygen levels in the air, the bigger the insect. This would explain why 300 million years ago when the oxygen in the air was 14% higher than it is nowadays, there were dragonflies with 6 foot wingspans and ants as big as small birds. So those were 10 anime superpowers that actually exist in real life. Obviously a lot of these don't exactly work like their anime counterparts, but it's the core idea that counts. If you like this anime list, then make sure to check out the other videos this channel's made. And if I happen to pique your interest, then you can find me on my channel right here, where I make anime related content as well. This has been the protagonist, and the plot demands that I leave. See you characters later.